Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, people of the internet. My name is Master Reloaded, and welcome back to my YouTube channel where craziness and weirdness is a normality. So, if you haven't been here before, welcome. Welcome you to the crazy fab. And if you just joined us today, make sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the notification button to get more notifications on when I post. So, with all that being said, the Grammy nominations 2021 Grammy nominations have been announced and I am here to give off my prediction and who I think should win and why are some people not nominated because you know the scammies the scammies sometimes get, get it down although 2020 has been quite an interesting year but we did have some phenomenal phenomenal say hua, phenomenal music this year from the weekends blinding light to um, Dua Lipa's Don't Start Now and let's not forget Miss Selena Gomez Lead You To Love Me are oh, actually Taylor Swift released for Claude this year and Doja Cat did give us say so Megan Thee Stallion and Beyonce did hop on the Savage Remix and she did give us Black Parade and yes don't forget Black is King that movie was phenomenal so we're here to see and then some of the greatest music video have been released this year because it's collaborations from Lady Gaga and Ariana Grande's Rain On Me and let's see if the, Grammy, if the Grammys actually did justice to the music this year. So I got the nominations pulled up, but before we get to it... <laughs> Best music film. We have... Beast the Boy Story, Black is King by Beyonce, uh, Linda Rothstar, The Sound of My Voice, um, That Little Old Burn from Texas. Obviously, obviously, I will have to go with Black is King because best musical film, I mean, from Find Your Way Back, Bigger, Already, I mean, African Necessity, Ugh, Phenoms. And then we have best music video, uh, we have Brown. This year, what's going on? Brown skin girl, girl. Life is good, okay. Lockdown by Andrew Spark. Um, a door by Harry Styles. Goliath by. <sighs> okay, why isn't um rain on me here? That was a flipping good music video. But anyways, uh, I would have to give it to. Brown skin girl or I do. Brown skin girl or I do. Definitely. Uh, and then best contract. Oh, we're not interested in that girl. Best set. Oh no, we're not interested in that. And that rap song. Best rap song. And then we have best rap song. So the nominees for best rap songs are The Bigger Picture by Lil Baby, The Box by Roddy Rich. Laugh Now Cry Later by Drake featuring Rick Drake. Rockstar by The Baby featuring Roddy Rich. And Savage by Megan Thee Stallion featuring Beyonce. I mean, for this one, I would have to say Savage and The Box. I mean, I'm definitely sure they're not going to give it to the girls. I, I would have to go with Savage of the Box because I do think Rolling Rich is gonna get this one. If not Drake. But then uh, no 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 okay yeah. Savage or the box. Definitely those two. Then we have Best Melodic Rap Performance. We have Rockstar by Da Baby Fusion Rolling Rich, Lockdown by Anderson Park, The Box by Rolly Rich. And highest in the room by Travis Scott. For this one, I would have to go with Rockstar or the box. Rockstar or the box. And then we have best rap performance. We have Dip Reverence. We have Dip Reverence by Big Shot featuring Nipsey Hussle. We have Bop by The Baby. We have What's Popping by Jay Harlow. We have The Bigger Picture by Old Baby. And we have Savage by Megan Thee Stallion featuring Beyonce. And then we have Dio by Pop Smoke. Okay, for this one, best rap performance. Well, um, it will have to go to. Mm, 
Okay. Why is Rockstar not dominating in this category? Well, we'll give it to Savage Best R&B Song. We have It's Better Than I Imagined by Robert. Uh, Glass by featuring her. We have Black Parade. What? Black Parade by Beyonce. We have Collide by Tina Major and Ed Gang. We have Do It by Chloe and Holly. We have Slow Down by Skip Molly and her. Well, I have to give it to Chloe and Holly. Do It. Or Black Parade. Chloe and Holly or Black Parade. Best Pop Vocal Album. We have. Eh, eh, eh. No, 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 Vocals, vocals, the vocal changes by Justin Bieber. You got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. We have Chromatica by Lady Gaga. Thank you very much. My name. We have Future Oh Child. This is what I have been waiting for. Future Nostalgia by Juwa Deeper. Definitely. Fine Lines by Harry Styles. Folklore by Miss Taylor Swift. So, this one I will have to give it to. Well, if it were up to me. In this case, Juwa Deeper would have gotten this award. Definitely Future Nostalgia. But for me, it's between Future Nostalgia and Chromatica. Vocally, but then I could see Taylor and I don't see Taylor Swift taking this award. No shade, but I don't see it. I just don't see it. Between Lady Gaga and Future Nostalgia, definitely those two. And then we have Best Pop Duo or Best Group Performance. We have uh, One Day by J Balvin, Dua Lipa, Bad Bunny, and Tenny. Anyway, why the fuck is Intentions nominated for? Ooh. Anyway, it's Dynamite by BTS, uh, Rain on Me by Lady Gaga, Exile by um, Taylor and featuring Juan Ivor. Well, for this one, for me, it has to be Rain on Me. Rain on Me, that song was more than just a cultural moment. It was just everything. It was everything for me. But um, it, it Rain on Me. Rain on me, ain't no other, uh, ain't no other person deserves this award besides Rain on me, definitely. Best pop solo performance. Ah 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 Not the worst song of the year being here. Not the worst song of the year being here. Why the fuck is Yami nominated? Yeah, yeah. Yet again, the Grammys proved to be irrelevant. Girl, you got that yam. Oh, no. We have Say So by Miss Doja Cats. Everything I Wanted by, Dwight, by uh, Billie Eilish. We have Don't Start Now. And we have Watermelon and Sugar. So, for this one, all the people that are here. Uh, wait. Uh, oh, wait, then we have Cardi and Girl by Taylor Swift. So, you. Like, dear Grammys, dear the Academy, you telling me that Blinding Lights is not here. How the fuck is Blinding Lights not nominated? Just make me understand. The longest running, the longest running. Okay, Blinding Lights was in the top ten for like thirty consecutive weeks. I mean, Blinding Lights has been breaking records up until from the moment it was released. It's still breaking records even today. Um, you you telling me it doesn't deserve best pop solo performance? Yet again, you have proven to be irrelevant. So for this one, yeah, we have to give it to Doja, say so, or Don't Start Now, my 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 Definitely between those two. Song of the year, we have Black Parade by Miss Bia. Oh, okay. I get Black Parade was, but The Box by Roddy Rich, Cardi Girl by Taylor Swift, 
Circles by Post Malone, Don't Start Now by Inspired Miss Chualipa, Everything I Wanted by, by Everything I Ever Wanted. Okay, I Can't Breathe by Her, If the World Was Ending. But, I mean, okay, okay, I, okay, before I get to where I'm going, where the fuck is Burning Light? Where the fuck is Say So? Those two songs, where the fuck are they? <laughs> For this one, it has to go to Miss Dua Lipa. Everything I ever wanted. Or Circles. I definitely think Circles or Miss Dua Lipa. Circles or Miss Dua Lipa. Definitely for that one. And then we have, um, what's this one? Album of the Year. We have uh, Kene Aiko. Uh, we have Black Puma. Black Puma. We have Everyday Life by Coldplay, Jacob Cola, Diesel Volume 3, Women in Music Part 2. Thank you, Future Nostalgia, Justice to Future Nostalgia. Thank you, Post Malone's Hollywood Bleeding. Thank you, Folklore, Folk okay. But where's After Hours? After Hours, where is After Hours? I haven't seen the weekend here for such a long time. Where is After Hours? Where is Hot Pink in this category? Where is Chromatica? Chromatica deserves the nomination. I do think Chromatica deserves the album of the year. But for this one, I will have to give it to Post Malone or Mr. Dualipa. Post Malone or Mr. Dualipa? Definitely. Yeah, Post Malone or Mr. Dualipa? Definitely. And then we have. Okay. So now we are going to. Of year. I don't know why I'm not even excited by this because I'm feeling the weekend is not gonna be here either. Let's see. Black Parade by Beyonce, yay! Colors by Pink Puma. Uh, Rockstar, okay, by the Baby. Say so. Thank you very much. Uh, everything I wanted by. Really, Eilish don't start now by Dua Lipa, Circles by Post Malone, Savage by Beyonce, and I guess that. Well, for record of the year, definitely between Circles and um, Don't Start Now. Between those two, ain't no other option. Okay, for, for this one, I could see. I could see Rockstar getting record of the year. And I could see Circles getting record of the year. But if it were to me, Don't Start Now would have gotten record of the year, or Say So, between those two. Say So or Don't Start Now, between those two. Okay, let's have a quick chat of those nominations. I love Beyonce, but Black Parade didn't deserve that much clout. That's just a fact. Black Parade, I mean, why? I don't know. It's just, it's a phenomenal song. It's a great song, but record of the year, song of the year. It's a far fetch. Justice for the weekend? Definitely justice for the weekend. Like child, blinding lights after hours, heartless in your eyes. So you thought no nomination at all. Wow. Thank you very much for doing justice to Miss Joy but I hope she actually wins some awards for that, because wow. I think Beyonce was leading in the nominations, I'm not sure. Taylor Swift's Folklore, thank you for justice, but you've done this before and you have not given her any awards for reputation, so we're still not gonna let you go on that one. And yes, um, Record of the Year, Rain On Me, why wasn't she nominated? I mean, the Grammys yet again prove that they are flop and they are really irrelevant. So, yeah, that's my predictions for the year. For 2021, tell me what I some of your predictions down in the comment section below. And did the Grammys do justice to some of your favorite artists this year? Or yet again, the Grammys just be a flop. So yeah, the Grammys are still a flop. The awards do take place on the 31st of January next year in 2021. And I'll be here yet again, maybe with someone else. And uh, we're gonna see the list of the winners. But for now, the Grammys come again and make sure that you you don't take the Grammys seriously because Time and time again, they prove to be irrelevant. The weekend is not nominated. 
that only that only proves that they're not relevant. I mean, they know me. Deserves you to hear some of you. Yet again, but yeah, I am absolutely loaded, and thank you for coming again.